when I look at myself at 12 years old, when I look deep inside these big bright eyes, I promise you that being a young African girl is not a hurdle to overcome, but a force to be reckoned with. You've always had to deal with things that are beyond your years. Seeing the women in your community with the lack of employment opportunities or access to health care, you wish there was some way you could help them. I promise you that one day you will make a difference in their lives. You are a brave, passionate young girl with a light in your big, bright eyes. Although the light may flicker at times, I want you to remember that with perseverance and dedication, your light will shine brighter than you ever dreamed. You've grown to understand the values of empathy and service. The women you mentor admire your passion and determination to better your community. You will travel across many horizons seeking opportunity to fight for justice. But you will always return to Benin, your family, your home. You don't know it yet, but when you grow up, you'll become an unstoppable force. You'll become a world-famous physician, honoring your patients, treating each of them with dignity and respect. You will serve the people of your city and you will fight for women's health around the world. My expertise as a physician is into reproductive health. I've been doing that in different capacity, advocacy, care, and now in research. So making sure that young people, girls, women, men, and boys have access to the most relevant, appropriate sexual reproductive health services. You will start the Young Beninese Leader Association to educate young girls and women on HIV AIDS sexual and reproductive health, and entrepreneurship. This is really cross-cutting, the issue of rights, uh, gender equality, access to opportunities. It also has a ripple effect on reducing maternal mortality, which is also a big maternal and child health. You have faith that your generation will be the one to build a better, more equal, and just world. And this part that I'm doing is investing smartly in solutions that reach the last mile, adolescent girls and boys and for health. But also making sure that there is an environment that is supportive with good governance, with your voice telling your policymaker that gender equality should not be an exception, it should be the norm. It also gave us power to say it. Your drive for this fight comes from your family. You were inspired by your mother's resilience and your father's feminism. Oh, it's good. You have the souvenirs. It's like it was yesterday. Yes, it's like it was yesterday. I like that one. With your sister and your cousin, is that right? Yes, it's like it was always the same when I was in school. Okay. Et j'étais là, toute souriante. J'étais okay. contente de vous recevoir, okay. de vous accueillir. OK. Mm. Qu'est-ce que ça te faisait d'avoir tes deux filles, Moi, aller à l'école, être engagée? J'étais vraiment contente. <rire> OK, d'accord. Oui. Comble par quoi? Comble comment? Voilà, tu m'as gratifié de deux belles filles, mais je sais que la venue sera bonne. Ah, oh, OK.
OK. Et toi, papa Quand tu viens du travail, tu ne voulais pas manger. Tu voulais d'abord faire le travail que le maître avait demandé pour que le lendemain. <rire> sans manger. Et, sans manger. Okay. À peine tu déposais le sac. OK. Et quand on, on te parlait, tu ne voulais pas écouter, tu dis... Le maître a donné travail. Je savais qu'il allait partager ça. Le maître a donné travail. Le maître a donné travail. Donc, c'était ça jusqu'à ce que tu finisses d'abord et tout. Non, mais c'est bien. Apparemment, le maître a donné travail. Ça aboutit sur de bonnes choses. Euh, J'ai fait les études de médecine. Et qu'est-ce que ça vous fait d'avoir votre enfant, être à la fois un médecin, mais aussi activiste et engagé sur les questions de droit de la femme, santé de la femme? Oui, moi, je pense que... On ne peut pas faire d'omelette sans casser des œufs. Il y avait le risque, il y avait aussi le courage. Il y avait surtout la persévérance. Il y avait la vision. Tu sais où tu vas et tu te donnes la chance d'aller très loin. Donc que Dieu te bénisse et que ça aille toujours de l'avant. With every step you take, carry the values you learned from your parents and pass them on to the next generation of young women. You will rally these women together and shape them into a change-making force for the communities. So my role is really that, to open the doors, to keep them, to create opportunities for the young and to see how to federate the platforms so that the young women, in this case, the Bénin, can bring their voice. You will use your voice to fight child marriage, female genital mutilation and gender-based violence. The young women or the young women that we are talking about here, veut un environnement sans violence, un environnement où elle peut en toute liberté et en sécurité vaquer à ses activités d'éducation, avoir accès à des services de santé, des services de sociaux de base. You will pass on your knowledge to women and girls around the world so that they can keep up the fight in their own communities. Et ensemble, collaborer pour avoir une feuille de route qui nous permet de porter cette voix. You will send a letter to world leaders explaining how none of us are equal until all of us are equal. You will be on the front lines of gender equality in Benin and around the world. So have faith in yourself. And most importantly, draw motivation from the persistent voices of African girls and women singing we are here and we are going to change the world. Yours in power. Dr. Joanie Marlene Bewa. <laughs>